All of us face temptation in our lives. We're constantly bombarded with messages that are trying to pull us down from the high ground. I want to share with you two scripture stories that contrast with each other. One you might be a little bit more familiar with than the other, but working together, these two bring a really powerful principle to the forefront. Let's go to Alma chapter 47, starting about in verse 10. It came to pass when it was night, Amalekiah sent a secret embassy, desiring that Lahontai should come down to the foot of the mount, for he desired to speak with him. And it came to pass that when Lehontai received the message, he durst not go down to the foot of the mount. So the first time come down, Lehontai says, no. And it came to pass that Amalekiah sent him again the second time, desiring him to come down. And it came to pass that Lehontai would not. And he sent again the third time. So three times Amalekiah's like, come down. And Lehontai's like, no, 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 refuses to come down. Now here's the key. Watch what happens on the fourth time. It came to pass when Amalekai found he could not get Lehontai to come down off the mount, he went up to the mount nearly to Lehontai's camp, and he sent again the fourth time, saying, come down and bring your guards with him. So Lehontai's like, okay, now I have to only go down a little bit. It's going to be with my guards. I'll be safe. Can you see how this might work today? Satan tempts us. We say no. Satan tempts us. We say no. Satan tempts us. We say no. He says, okay, well, just a little bit then. And bring your friends. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, I guess that's not so bad. And can you see how that might relate to us? We can all see no other temptation the first time, the second time, the third time. But then Satan's like, well, just come down a little bit. The Hontai gives in. And that's going to lead eventually to his being killed and some terrible things happening in the history of the Book of Mormon. All because on the fourth time, the Hontai didn't stick to what he knew was right. Now let's contrast the story with a lesser known story from the Old Testament. This is about a guy named Nehemiah. So Nehemiah has been tasked to build a wall around Jerusalem. And he's working hard to build this wall and his enemies find out. So this is in Nehemiah chapter 6. His enemies say, come, let us meet together in one of the villages in the plain of Oh No. Oh No. If your enemies want to meet you in a place called Oh No, that's a bad sign right there. Now notice Nehemiah's response when his enemies try to get him to come down. He says, I sent messengers unto them saying, I am doing a great work, so I cannot come down. Why should the work cease whilst I leave it and come down to you? Yet they sent unto me four times after this sort, and I answered them after the same manner. Nehemiah refuses to come down from the wall because he's doing a great work. Do you see the parallel between these two stories? Nehemiah's up on his wall. Lehontai's up on his mount. They're both asked four times to come down. And the difference between Lehontai and Nehemiah is what they did on the fourth time. And I love the application for us today. You and I are going to be tempted once, twice, three times, and we'll be able to say no, no, no. But the question is, metaphorically speaking, what will you and I do on the fourth time? Nehemiah shapes history for good because on the fourth time, he doesn't come down. I hope that you and I won't come down from our standards either.